Republicans in the state of Arizona are not giving up on the farce that is voter fraud. And they're still proposing new legislation to try to combat this non-existent voting fraud that they spent millions of dollars trying to prove last year and ultimately failed in doing that. In fact, they proved that Joe Biden actually won the state by more than they thought. Nevertheless, that hasn't stopped them from their ultimate goal of the, you know, whole audit, which was to push this oppressive legislation. But the legislation that they have proposed now, these Republicans in the Arizona state house is terrifying because what this new legislation would do is it would make public the names, addresses, and ballots, ballots of every single person who votes in the state of Arizona, your ballot, an image of your ballot, according to reports would be available for anyone who wanted to go check it out on the state's website. So they'd get to see every single person you voted for. They'd have your name. They'd have your address. Effectively, Republicans in Arizona want to dox every single voter in the state, Republican, Democrat, independent, green, libertarian, doesn't matter. It's going to become public record. If Republicans have their way, that should terrify everybody. It should terrify Democrats should terrify Republicans should terrify everyone because here's why if your name and the image of your ballot is widely available in an easy to access public database on the state's website. There's nothing to stop potential employers from saying, Oh, Hey, we got an application from uh, this dude. You know what? Let's look and see how he voted. Let's see if his voting record matches with the ideals of our company. We can pre-screen people based on their political ideology. That's terrifying. But what's even more terrifying is the fact that any Yahoo out there, your next door neighbor could say, you know what? I want to see how this SOB voted. I guarantee you he voted for that person. I hate people will be attacked for this. And I mean that quite literally people will be targeted in this state. If this proposal becomes law. And of course, If it becomes law in Arizona and survives court challenges, which I can't imagine it would, but God only knows what's going to happen in this ass backwards country of ours, other states will follow. I mean, after all, that's what the states do now. These Republican controlled states, they wait for one state to do something, whether it's Georgia with their voter suppression or Texas with their anti-abortion laws. And as soon as those go into place, all the other states start doing it as well. North Carolina, Tennessee, you know, first with their book bans and you know, uh, 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 tax on critical race theory. Now all these other Republican controlled states are doing it as well. It's follow the leader with Republican states on who can, you know, become the most oppressive. So if this piece of legislation in Arizona becomes a law, people will be targeted. People will lose their jobs. People will be automatically excluded from potential jobs. Teachers will be targeted because you'll have Republicans accusing Democrat voting teachers of indoctrinating their kids. Same thing on the other side, college professors doesn't matter. All of it would be public knowledge and easily searchable on the state's website. Because as they say, we got to root out the fraud. No, this isn't rooting out anything. This is exposing people on the left, right, and everywhere in between to unprecedented levels of political harassment. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.